Hello from the beautiful city of Esslingen. Good morning from the beautiful southern part of Germany to you, dear viewers, wherever you are in the world right now. My name is Dorothy Gelmar. Thanks for joining Festo's live session at Achema Puls. We want to share Festo's innovations and highlights with you. We have around about 15 minutes for this live session and um, hopefully you also want to pose your questions. We will share the Engelwolf VZXA with you and with we, I mean our experts that I'd like to introduce now. It's Thomas Schulz and Jörg Denelt who will present the latest features and highlights of this modular wolf concept with us, with you, Jörg and Thomas. Hello, good to have you here. Good morning, Doro. Thank you. We are curious what you are going to tell us in the next 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please take the chance to interact with us. Use the chat function for that. And at the end of the presentation, I will pass the questions over to these gentlemen. They will appear here on my tablet. So please interact and have a lot of fun. Let's go. I leave the stage. It's your turn. Thank you very much. A very warm welcome also from my side. My name is Jörg Denert and I'm uh, responsible for the product management and business development at Festo. Yeah, welcome at the exhibition here in Esslingen. And today we want to talk about precise control of liquids, fluids, gases, bulk solids. And when we come across this type of topic, yeah, we also come across automatically about typical valves like uh, angle seat valve. Our VZXA angle seat valve modular design, you can see it here on the shelf, modular built up or completely assembled. So demanding application, this is the topic for today. So flexible in use, modular to configure, easy to select and after all robust and um, yeah, for demanding applications. So. Before we now step into uh, a live session and demonstrating here the possibilities by Thomas, I would like to show you a short introduction with a small animation. So you can see here on this animation, yeah, the angle seat valve is modular, designed different type of actuators, different type of connections in stainless steel, in brass with a stainless steel actuator or a polymer actuator, clamp, tree clamp um, connection, weld connection, or just a threaded NPT or G thread. From an actuator point of view, actuation principle, no matter if you need a fail to open or fail to close solution, we have that available as well as a simple double acting actuator on top of it. If you require higher pressure stages, this is also available. We have a membrane actuator available in our range so also easy to select over our online configurator. What is also very special on this valve, which we need to mention here, is that we have an optimized bore diameter, yeah, which, we, um, which allows us to actually increase or have increased flow rate compared on the same parameters with the same diameter of approximately 20% when you compare it to the average market. But what is very special about the VZXA, and this is indeed, you can see it in the animation, that we have a modular interface on top of the valve body. And you can see it here. On all types of valve bodies, you have always the same interface. And this allows us to easily exchange, no matter what valve body, what size you have, what connection you have, you can exchange the actuator on top of it. Means you can modular design, you can modular configure if you need a fail to open, fail to close, a safety function, a double acting, a polymer actuator, or just a stainless steel actuator. This is always the same interface. And what is also very important to mention, on top you can see, yes, a standard interface for connection of the nomadic air supply, the exhaust air, so the airports in general, no matter if you want to operate it by a valve terminal, this is possible by just connecting it with the valve terminal or just use a simple yeah, single solenoid valve. And this is a three two-way valve, an accessory which we recently introduced, our VOFX range, so directly mountable on the interface of the VZXA. But now, on addition, on the top indicator, which you need for a valve, yeah, you can also get some accessories. If you disassemble the visual indicator on top, you can attach 
a sensor mounting, so where you can yeah, simply use normal sensor switches to directly put it inside this yeah, sensor head. This allows us to detect open or closed position. In addition to that, you have also the possibility to limit your stroke if you, for instance, want to limit your flow. This is possible by also using that type of interface on top of the actuator of the visual indicator, exchange it to a stroke limiter with a shock absorber, for instance. So you can see, modular to configure, easy to maintain, and this is also a very big advantage which you show later on in the next step presented by Thomas. You can exchange functions, you can even exchange actuators during operation. This is a very important topic to mention, and this allows us also to really have a cheap and yeah, economical maintenance. At the end, you can also get this as single components, so you do not need to exchange the whole valve. You can exchange just the seat or the actuator. So what you can see here now, finally, on that yeah, last seconds of this clip, is a yeah another teaser for what you will see uh, what you will see in a few seconds about the possibility of having a manifold solution because exactly this modularity allows us to also generate or build up yeah, customized manifolds. So, thanks a lot. I would like to hand over to Thomas. Yeah, thank you yours. very much. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, I'm Thomas, Global Industry Segment Manager um, at Festo. And I would like to show you today our multi-board block solutions and what we can do for you with these specific design on the valves. Um, so first of all, what is a multi-port block? A multi-port block is just one valve with uh, several valve functions combined in one block. For example, this one here has, for example, one inlet. And we have also four outlets. So this, this block can be used, for example, to distribute water within a machine or a skid but you can use it also vice versa. Then you have four inlets, and you have just only one outlet. And this is a specific case, for example, if you have a molding machine, and if you would like to distribute different cooling and heating media within the machine to the mold. So, but what is the advantage of a block solution compared to the standard piping design? In a standard piping, you just use single, single valves, and you combine them with T-fittings, elbows, and pipings to a complete solution. Um, the block, the first biggest advantage you can see, which is very obvious, it's very small. It saves you a lot of space in your machine. Second, the hold-up volume, the volume of media within the block hold-up, is very small. So for every cleaning or sterilization procedure, this makes it very quick to sterilize and clean this block. A third point is, this block comes ready assembled to your workshop, so you, need, you do not need to have any assembly time in your workshop. And last part, instead of handling 18 different parts, purchasing, um, putting on stock, getting from stock, we deliver this with one article number to you, so you don't have to do any specific uh, things in, uh, in the buying center. So, but now, hands on, um, we've shown you in the video the modularity and how easy it is to uh, exchange, for example, an actuator or a ceiling. And this I would like to show you now in live, because in an animation you can do anything, but it's also different if you do it live. So if you want to, for example, want to exchange an actuator, um, you simply screw it off. Then you have the cover kit with a ceiling and the valve spindle. You remove this also, that's all. So, and if you want like to replace it, you just take uh, the spare parts I've prepared here. This is the ceiling kit. This is the uh, valve spindle with the ceilings, with the seal, for the seat seal. And the simply, you push these two together, and then you take it and screw it into the block or the valve body. You tighten it properly with a torque wrench, and then you take the actuator and you do the same. You screw the actuator on top of the valve. That's all. And now we have exchanged the stainless steel actuator with the polymer actuator. And for example, if you need a higher pressure in one of the supply lines, 
for example, 20 bar, you just take off the actuator, the cover kit and the stem remains on the valve, and you just screw on the new actuator, which of course you have always to tighten with a torque wrench. Last point is also the polymer actuator fits. As we said, dimensions are all the same. You take this one off, and you screw it. So as you can see, this modular box we've designed for you can hold any type of actuator. We have the plastic actuators, we have stainless steel, we have the small ones and the big ones. This is the big advantage of the standard block. And this brings me to the last topic. This block is also equipped with removable connection plates. These plates are fixed with four screws and you can ex easily exchange them if you would like to have an NPT thread instead of a G-thread. If you would like to have flange or clamp connections, you can easily put on a new part on the block. This gives you a very high flexibility and at the same time a high standardization. Um, the advantage of this approach designing a block is also that we have short delivery times. If you need smaller quantities or if you need a prototype, um, this can be very short. In with a short delivery time, we can do this uh, to you. Um, the last thing is if you need to have a higher quantity, for example, to optimize a skit or a machine, um, we design this in accordance to your needs, and then you have a, let's say, perfect solution for your, for your block, for your machines. Um, and the last point, um, I hope that we could inspire you with the presentation today. And uh, with this, I would like to hand back to, to Doro for a few questions we might have. Doro, please. We have, Thomas and uh, Jörg, thank you very much for these insights into our Wolf segment. And dear viewers, thank you very much for the questions. They were not too much, but we have three. Okay. And I'd like to pass them to you, Jörg and uh, Thomas. The first question from Mark is, for which temperature range can we use the Wolf? Yeah, may I answer that question? So uh, right now, the standard temperature range for media, for the media to handle inside the valve is from minus 30 to 200 degrees. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is um, so low minus for cooling circuits, high temperatures up to for steam applications. And um, yeah, we are just working also on expanding that range. So this is about to come. So we have yeah, even lower temperature, minus 40, minus 50, and even higher up to 220, 230. But this is about to come. So standard is right now minus 30 to 200. All right. The next question is, for which application can I use the Wolf? Yeah. Uh, I can also, because yeah. I already mentioned it. Thanks yeah. a lot for the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, exactly. I haven't mentioned that in uh, the presentation. So in general, these angle seat valves, this type of stainless steel and brass angle seat valves um, are very common in using for just uh, cooling or heating circuits, hot water, cold water, and I mentioned steam as well. Cooling, like I mentioned, minus down to 30, mi 30 minus 40 degrees. But as well, um, yeah, for ordinary washing applications, for instance, so this is the, yeah, the quite a common application mm -hmm. and this type of block solutions what uh, Thomas presented here this is also uh, yeah, a as distribution block so with one inlet for washing cooling lubricating circuits and then a distribution line in general all right and the third question can the VZXA be sterilized with hot steam yeah the valve body uh, the actuator and all the ceilings uh, can be sterilized with hot steam we have two ways of doing it. First of all, we have uh, the sterilization in place where you have hot stream within the valve and you just uh, sterilize everything which is interior. This can be done with a whole range. And then as a second uh, option, we can have the stainless steel actuator, which can be also autoclaved. So you disassemble this from your machine and you put it in an autoclave and you do the sterilization as a single component outside of the plant. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Time is running, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your attention. Check our company profile here on the Achama Pulse platform to get in contact with us. Thanks, gentlemen, and bye-bye. See you in the next session. Bye.